Hello everyone. So, in this video, we are going to start the new chapter of uh, organic chemistry that is alcohols, phenols, and ethers. Okay. So, first of all, I just want all of you to be uh, very much well, what do you call that attentive because this lecture is going to be the introductory part. So, if you don't listen and write the notes here, you will find the other remaining videos of this chapter quite hard. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. So, this chapter number, alcohols, phenols, and ethers number, we are dealing with these three chemical compounds, alcohols, phenols, and ether. So that is, also the functional group she given that is R, O, H, that is C, C, H, 5, O, H, and also R, O, R, that are the functional groups. Functional group, that is the functional group, that is the functional group. Now in this chapter, okay, so, in this chapter, we are going to study first alcohols, okay? Alcohols, I'm sure, will be done today. So, alcohols, that will be... Okay? First of all, when you study alcohols, so you need to be quite careful. Alcohols, I'm sure, will be done today. The first topic of today's lecture is alcohols. So, we have different types of alcohols. Jan, no primary, secondary, tertiary, it's a love word. Our chick, you know, alcohol, primary, they are near, you know, secondary, they are soon, you know, tertiary. Now, first of all, we will learn about preparation, preparation of. of alcohols. Okay, preparation of alcohols. Now preparation of alcohols and on the country by the way. I will do the important ones first, okay? First of all, the name of the action that you have to study is hydroboration. Okay, hydro Hydroboration. Boration. Oxidation reaction. Hydroboration. Oxidation reaction. Okay. Hydroboration. Oxidation reaction. So this is the name reaction. It is used for the preparation of alcohols. So here what we do is we take an alkene. Okay, we usually take an alkene. So we have alkene then how to nature and it's just simple D. I will take ethene here. Okay, take ethene and react this with diboline. Okay, diboline means B2H6. So I can write it as BH3D B2H6. So this is your ethene. And this is your diboline. What is wrong? Now, when you layer these two, you will get an intermediate product first. The intermediate product that you will get is CH3, CH2, whole thrice B. Okay? This is your uh, triethyl, triethyl. Try it higher, boring. Okay, this is your try it higher boring. Okay, so then another try it higher boring. Now we can balance and this again. Just put a three here. Okay, balance as well. Now, in the next part, what you will do is you will take this chemical. Okay, chemical dealing with the reaction in the tissue. Okay, so you will take this chemical, second step number three, the chemical DD hydrolysis tissue. Okay, you will do the hydrolysis of this particular uh, compound. Hydrolysis means addition of water molecule, water into the action. Okay, so this is your hydrolysis. Okay, so when you do hydrolysis here, what you will get is CH3, CH2, OH. Three, three molecules of uh, uh, ethanol 
Three molecules of ethanol with base three twice only. Okay, base three twice are yeah, that are along with three molecules of ethanol that are So here, here we need chick hug this one. Base three we need one. So here put a two here, and instead of three, there is six here. Okay, there are two show so that the tie will be done. Okay, so the like kind of other rule, you will get six molecules of ethanol. Okay, in this reaction, you can take diboline or take boline, which will need your pH three. But why we take diboline is that boline exists here over there. Okay, boline the diboline can form that exists here over there. That's why we are reacting it with pH three twice rather than pH three alone. Now this is your hydroboration oxidation reaction. The main product is your ethanol. Yeah, that's all. BH3 ranked that way, BH3 tries. Uh, okay. Now the second reaction. Now the second reaction is um, preparation from RMGX. Okay, from RMGX, that is your Grignard reagent. Grignard reagent using using aldehyde aldehydes and ketones. Okay. Next is from RMGX from RMGX. From RMGX using aldehydes using aldehydes and ketones. Aldehydes in the R C H O. Ketones in the R C H O R. So in the future time, we have to react aldehydes and ketones with RMGX so that we can prepare alcohols. Also, so now alcohols can be primary, can be secondary, and can be tertiary as well. Also, so tertiary and secondary. Tata, RMGX let you first case that A one, A one na If you react RMGX, RMGX reaction, RMGX kya kya chhe se the chain. All sub C H three A C D C H three C H two A C D X sub can be chlorine C bromine C D. But for simplicity, we have to use R M G X. Okay. Now when you use R M G X, 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 Methanol, methanol, that I mean, or you can say formaldehyde. Simplest aldehyde, man, formaldehyde. Formaldehyde will react with you. When you react this with formaldehyde, what you will get? Primary alcohol. Good to watch. Primary alcohol. That I mean, first of all, you have to get an intermediate first. Now, intermediate first, that I mean, that means you know, that intermediate first, that means that intermediate first, that means that the R, so the H. C di langesha, the delta H C langesha, O double bond di mio su di single bond su O nyo do kai chai nyo bude M G X chai nyo. So H single bond C single bond kai chai nyo bude O M G X. Di nyo do chai nyo bude. Ni H di delta su esha. Oh, that's why. Right. Then the double bond, that's why single bond here is so much. Then this single bond is used to do the delta union. R D, delta ratio. Good question, right? It's H C O M G X. Then C H delta R D. Okay, this is your intermediate. Intermediate. So I have to write the intermediate delta. Good question. Now, uh, when you do this, that means you can do the hydrolysis. Do it. When you do the hydrolysis here. Okay, when you do the hydrolysis, this is going to be hydrolysis. Now, now when you do the hydrolysis, okay, now when you do the hydrolysis, what you will get is OH two. This OH goes with MGX, and this H goes to this particular oxygen. So what you will get is H C H C C O H O H R H. Okay, along with Mg with plus two charge, OH negative, X negative. Good to watch. Now this is your main product, and this is our primary alcohol. 
Full source of this is a primary alcohol that you are getting there. R CH two O H there. R CH two O H. R from C H three CH two C H three higher chance C. Okay, primary alcohol that you get. Now B one. Now when you react R and G X with when you react R and G X with not C H G with so that is formaldehyde in that chamber. Now any other the when you react it with any other aldehyde other than formaldehyde. Formaldehyde shall be aldehyde more clear soon. Okay, like R C H O, R C H O. Yeah, we don't have C H three C H C H three C H two O H right here. Okay, R we can have hydrogen is just the one. This is the one we have to have to be have to go. Okay, so just to be clear, the pressure um, CH three C double bond O H three. Okay. Now when you react this with uh, ethanol, okay, that is acetaldehyde. Acetaldehyde can be the other than formaldehyde, okay, it can be an aldehyde. Acetaldehyde, huh? now when you react this with acetaldehyde, what you get? First, intermediate, intermediate, and then 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 intermediate, okay, and then intermediate, 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 okay. Now the next step is the next step is hydrolysis. Okay, next step is hydrolysis. Now when you do hydrolysis, what you will get is CH three CH three C O H H R. Okay, R plus N. Okay, this will be the product, and this is it. This is the secondary alcohol. Secondary alcohol, then. secondary alcohol, catch in there because then a branching chain. Then a branching chain will do straight 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 chain. Now, C, the C of this thing, can be this R and G. XP, he told him the reaction. Ketone will be ketone clear and then I will be a simplest ketone will show that is your acetone Ok, common name is acetones and IUPC name is propanol Ok, acetones and that's your propanol and that's your propanol and that's your propanol Ok, and then you will react to me what you will get first Ok, first you will get an intermediate intermediate is not having one CH3 sphere C on the double bond with chaff oxygen into the MDX plus CH3 the acid is there joint C War bond the R digger What's the name? Now, next step is Hydrolysis Okay, next step is Hydrolysis Now when you do the Hydrolysis, you will get CH3 CH3 C OH CH3 1 is up and 1 is up and 1 is up plus MG plus 2 OH X minus 2 ok now this is your tertiary alcohol this is your tertiary alcohol Maybe can you see here? Should see here. Maybe in the two mana. Okay, this is your tertiary alcohol. But since now plant plant has to be check the sum da. So R has to be check the two need to the sum da. Then the R need only the R two one zero. Then this side the R two one zero. Okay, so these are the important points. So deep way up close by side. This is very important. So enough the agent will be. And hydrocarbon is also important. Air reaction is also. All air reactions are important. Now, the third one can be produced here from 
from ester from ester we can also produce uh, alcohol hydrolysis we do also in soil ester kind of ester CH3 ester CH3 uh, C double bond O single bond O CH2 CH2 this is your ester no? COO no? now ester G hydrolysis China okay water at China SNO okay hydrolysis China what you will get is CH3 C O O H plus C H T C H two O H. Okay, you will get and one acid and one alcohol. The H T the oxygen in the room with O H T carbon in the solution. Go to solve. Next one. From ester, from ester H. And next one from from carboxylic acid from carboxylic acid as well now carboxylic acid you know, is also going carboxylic acid can take switch and then actually the CH3 COOH station okay now when you react carboxylic acid with a strong reducing agent like air li air h4 okay this is a strong reducing agent which provides you that hydrogen molecule okay hydrogen molecule provides you now this agent is the catalyst now the reaction the chiral chemical function is ch3 ch2 oh and what she said because it's a strong reducing agent also now from from aldehydes from aldehydes and ketones as well now from aldehydes and ketones we can produce now aldehydes and ketones we can produce here right? suppose I write a ketone here now ketone we can produce here right? Same reducing agent with LA, but here you have to use a mild reducing agent like sodium boron bolotrahydride NaBH4, which provides you that hydrogen molecule. Also, so so how that work? Can can this be done or CH3 CO CH3? You will get an alcohol as your good. Also, so. Okay, so this is all about the important preparation of alcohol. In general, I will do the motion. Okay, from RMGX. I do position some something. So this, this is all about your preparation of alcohols. Good to solve. Now, next topic the next topic we will look at it. Preparation of phenols. Preparation of Phenols. Now, preparation of phenols is far different than uh, the normal alcohols. Okay, normal alcohols, na, it is far more different. Okay. Which is all. Now, preparation of phenols the initial. The first method that we have to apply. Okay, preparation of phenols the by Dawes process. Dawes process and I mean. Dawes process is not the same. I'm talking about the same. Chlorobenzene, halobenzene, the thing you are, you are not going to We react it with NaOH or AOH. If I act first, now when you react these two, you will get an intermediate that is. Uh, o negative Na plus okay negative Na plus Na plus as a result can't other move minus Hx Hx what we do now you when you further react this with Hx 
Okay? And take some of the X to do and count up other things. So you get the non plus. You get the null plus an index. Okay? So this is your reaction. And this reaction is formally called Dawes process. Okay, this reaction is formally called Dawes process. Which is what the reaction now to the color give the Dawes process. Which is what? Okay. This is a little bit easier now. Now the next topic. Next topic in a sense the second way of preparation of phenols. Okay, the second way of preparation of phenols. It's quite simple and a very important for this well. Preparation from you mean. Okay, you mean it is very important. Preparation for you mean lot of a lot of time it has been asked for two marks. Okay, direct question. Cumin ni khadi ojo produce chile. Now, before that, we have to prepare cumin first. Now, cumin ready prepare chale. You have to take benzene. Okay? You have to take benzene and react this with propene. C3CH double bond CH2. Okay? This is your benzene. This is your benzene. And this is your top one in or two pin and the top okay top one in now when you react these two you will get uh intermediate product and this intermediate product is your cumin okay ch3 ch ch3 okay so this is your isopropyl benzene Isopropyl because it is secondary propyl. Right? Iso means secondary giant. Isopropyl. Isopropyl benzene. Which is formally called humi. Which is what? Now, what you have to do first now is you have to take that humi here. Take that chemical compound that is your cumin. Cumin is CH3. 3 mother CH3. Another CH3. What is wrong? Now, CH3, 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 the benzene thing, you have to react this with oxygen. Okay? Oxygen you have to react to it. You have to react this with oxygen. Now oxygen means what? Air. Air will react to the oxygen. Now oxygen will react to the it will form an intermediate. Now intermediate will form the mole. Single bond O, single bond O, single bond H. This is called cumin, cumin hydro oxide. Okay, cumin hydro oxide form chemistry. Now, when you did, when you react this chemical, okay, the chemical B. When you react this chemical with uh, acid. Okay, this H plus methyl acid is a low. Acid will react to the what happens is cleavage. Bond dissociation takes place. Bond dissociation chana can be the bond chart mode. The bond chart mode and chana product here. Okay, bond chana mode and a charge. It is me. Okay, this always goes with the benzene and this whole becomes an acid. So main product chana mode. Okay, 
فينول فينول بلس فينول بلس كان خلقه هو CH3 CO CH3 اوكي now this is your فينول this is your main product and this is your acid okay this is the most important preparation method of phenol some cumin you go to it it is the most important one motion degree okay now the next one the next one the next one is from disodium salt okay disodium salt now next one disodium salt and chop and then we Dizonium salt obviously okay now dizonium salt motion prepare when you see it by using anilin time but reacting it with HO and O along with HCl nitrous acid HCl in the presence of Na Na2 at 273 Kelvin that is your 0 degree Celsius over here okay they actually count up the two you get diazonium salt along with two molecules of water and this is your diazonization okay diazonization now diazonization in this is as well now when you have prepared your diazonium salt now we have this diazonium salt with water. Okay? With water. That is your hydrolysis. Okay, so hydrolysis takes place. When you hy when hydrolysis takes place, you will get phenol here. Okay, you will get phenol here. Phenol plus. Phenol plus. N2 gas plus HCl. Okay, so this is the product. This is the product that you will get. Okay, this is your hydrolysis. Complete hydrolysis, you know, hydrolysis. Okay, so so these are the ways how how you can prepare uh, alcohols and. Okay, I hope you like the content of this video. In the next video, we will be covering the important characteristics or you can say chemical properties of alcohols and chemical properties of phenols. Okay, and uh, seriously, the uh, alcohols and phenols. Phenols depict health care, you know. So, phenols, you have many name reactions like the Weber-Chamber reaction and Cobb reactions. Okay, many reactions. We will be covering in the next uh, video. Till then, study hard. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel. And yeah, stay safe and good luck.